Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 Welcome back to Ratchet & Clank. In the last episode, we completed Captain Quark's training course, where he revealed that he's actually a traitor. It turns out that he's been working with Chairman Drek all along, so now we have to fight him as well. But first, we have a bit of... We have... Yeah. No, I stumbled upon my pronunciation horribly there. No, we have a bit of a battle going on, is what I was trying to say. And we also have a brand spanking new ship, so... Sorry to his chairman shipliness, but we're no longer using Old Faithful, the old green courier ship. That's a thing of the past for now. So, there we go, more boxes, and I believe that at this point, there is actually a brand spanking new weapon for us, which is definitely worth the investment. There it is, there's the big bad boy itself, the Devastator. 10,000 bolts, very, very high price tag, but I am going to take this because I do believe that this weapon is very much worth it. And I think it's actually necessary for a couple of skill points. Well, not necessary, but it helps out a bit. So this is basically just a big old rocket launcher. So yeah, oh, okay, we get this uh, quick select warning because now we have too many weapons to fit in our inventory. So let's just uh, go to this menu. I'm not really using the soot cannon. So what I'm gonna do here is, yeah, cycle with R1 and L1 and Let's see. That should do it. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, Re-equip the bomb glove. Yeah, let's leave it like that. that. That looks about good. I'm not really using the suck cannon, although I say that now and these guys actually... These guys are actually very easily taken down with the suck cannon, but the blaster works well too. So, anyway, I just want to say right now, I might be a bit rusty at this game once again because... Uh, this won't um, like this won't be noticeable at all for anyone who's watching the series, but I actually haven't recorded in about a week. I scheduled a bunch of videos for upload while I was uh, on holiday in Mallorca, and I had a I had a pretty good time. Spent some time with my family. It's really warm in Mallorca, I gotta say. So uh, got a bit of a tan on, but I don't know. That's not really saying much. I just tan so poorly, and they hid that TNT there. They they were just banking on you, just whacking it with your wrench. They were intending for you to get hit. That's it's very sneaky of you, Insomniac. But anyway, we have a bit of a grind rail here, and I believe this is going to be important for a little bit of a side quest. I say a side quest, it's actually important for actual gameplay, and I believe if we don't drop off that grind rail, we get a little bit of spare change for our troubles, which is awesome. But anyway, while I was on holiday in Mallorca, a little bit of a story, I recently started watching two new shows that I've never seen before, The Twilight Zone and Rick and Morty. Yeah, The Twilight Zone's been out since 1959, I think, over three years out. Over three years at this point, and yeah, I've never seen it before. Only started watching it while I was on holiday, and the same for Rick and Morty, although that's only been out for two years, I think. But anyway, I thought I'd watch Rick and Morty because I heard it was good. Not sure if it's actually available to watch in the UK, but I thought I'd give it a try on YouTube. And Rick and Morty, for me, it's a bit like Adventure Time in the sense that Rick and Morty is a great show. I won't say that it's a bad show. It's very entertaining, it's very funny, but as a whole, it's not something that I'd be willing to lose my mind over. Rick and Morty is a good show, but... I, I don't know, I would gladly watch it, and oh, a little bit of a ring with a bunch of bolts here, I would gladly watch it if I had nothing better to do, but I, I don't think that I'd be willing to go like, oh man, it's been two weeks since I last watched Rick and Morty, I need to get my Rick and Morty fix, oh man, this is driving me crazy. So yeah, good show, but not something that I'd be willing to watch religiously, it's just like, it's funny, but not hugely into it so far, only watched four episodes, so, I might give it another try in the future, but, well, we'll see what happens. And I'm going to stop talking for a second. We are Got a little cutscene here. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. No, he doesn't. He looks cool. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble I bet someone has actually done that. Someone has actually joined the army just so they could go to college. Here. I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. Okay, how much is this? 2,000 bolts? That's not too much. Yeah, sure. Although, with that said, it does feel kind of weird giving him this after just it's buying a brand spanking new it's rocket launcher. Whatever. But still, the Devastator is a really good weapon. Hoping to show that off Please soon. Supreme Executive Chairman Dreg. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. 
This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. Oh dear. Someone's been you slacking on the job. A few minor adjustments to make. How do you know he wasn't actually thinking of doing that with his mind? You never know, maybe he screwed that up on purpose. Got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about? Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're now Clank's smart, getting angry with him. For Quark's stupid trick. Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. Yeah, this is where the game starts getting really sad for me, because this is where Ratchet and Clank just start tearing each other apart because they're so angry with each other. This is where it gets really sort of, not heart-wrenching per se, but it gets really kind of sad. But anyway, yeah, there's a brand new planet to go to. And I always thought that was kind of... Oh, actually, just so you know, I am going to sort of repeat this course because I believe that if you get to the end without getting hit once, you get a skill point, and I want to test that. But anyway, I always thought that was kind of weird how, like, earlier in the game, Ratchet said, hey, if we go to the blog station, like, maybe the scientists can tell us where Drek is because they work for him, and Clank says, hmm, I don't know about that. And now Clank is using the exact same logic. A little bit hypocritical on your part, Clank, or... I don't know, maybe he's just dumb, I don't know. Hey, Clank is not dumb, I take that back. Clank is awesome. But anyway, careful, there we go. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, to continue with my story, so... Uh, before I got rudely interrupted. Although I, I do kind of like that character, he's cool. So anyway, basically, Rick and Morty, tried watching it uh, over holidays. Thought it was good, but it was nothing that I'd be willing to go crazy for. And I also tried watching The Twilight Zone for the first time ever, even though it's been out for 50 odd years. And I have to say, The Twilight Zone may be one of the best TV shows I've seen in a long time. Probably one of the best I've ever seen in my life. It is ridiculous how good The Twilight Zone is. For a show that was made in 1959, it's amazing. Oh, I did get a skill point. Awesome. It's amazing how well the Twilight Zone holds up. Like, those stories are so timeless, it's ungodly. Like, for a show that came out 50 years ago, it holds up ridiculously well. The stories are just so awesome, the writing's so good, the dialogue's great. Uh, I actually ordered the Season 1 DVD. Well, okay, these guys just run around, so I think we probably want to snipe them from a long range. Uh, where are you? Where'd you go? Hey, there you are, you little... Oh, uh, these... I, I seem to remember these guys being really iffy to actually shoot. But, oh, well, there you go. Case in point, I died. But anyway, I actually ordered the Season 1 DVD for The Twilight Zone because I was just instantly smitten with it. And sure enough, it came today. Just watched the first episode before recording this, and it was awesome. Really, really good start to the series. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to watching some more of that. So... Yeah, as a whole, tried a couple of new shows while I was on holiday. Rick and Morty's good, but I wouldn't say that it's a fantastic show. Well, it is a fantastic show, it's just not, I don't know, it's just not something that I would be willing to just religiously watch. But The Twilight Zone, my god, that show is so, so amazing. I, I love it so far. It's just a brilliant, brilliant series. There we go, and I believe these guys actually give a whole lot of bolts, actually, so I'm going to want to kill them. Uh, where are you? Don't bomb me, don't bomb me, you little... There we go, that's the stuff. And from what I remember, there is an absolutely massive stash of bolts in this... Uh, I, I wasn't sure whether to say stack or stash, and I kind of just met in the middle and screwed up my pronunciation for a second. But yeah, actually, before I open this door, I believe there is actually a gold bolt right up here. Sure enough, there it is. Just wall jump up there, and there you go. But anyway... I seem to remember that there's a massive stash of bolts behind this door that is down here. There it is, this door here that you need a trespasser for. But I seem to remember this puzzle being ridiculously tricky. I seem to remember having a lot of trouble with this when I was a kid. Uh, let's see. Well, that definitely goes there. Uh, let's see. Wait. Oh, wow, there we go. Okay, apparently it doesn't take that much effort at all. It's all right. Well, there we go. Apparently I was misled. But, um, 
Yeah, anyway, that's something that always threw me off, is that you don't actually need every single one of those lasers to connect to a contact point, so you can actually make one mistake, which is kind of weird, because with a puzzle, you'd think you'd need to get it 100% right in order to get the solution, but no, there you go. Well, it's like they say, with a riddle, the most obvious solution is rarely the right one, although that's not really a riddle, it's more akin to a Rubik's Cube or a jigsaw puzzle. I don't know what I'm saying. Either way... Uh, oh, trespasser, trespasser, no devastator ammo. Okay, you know what? I've got 18 out of 20 rockets and oh no, wait, I think we want to save these for a while because actually, you know what? No, I will use one of them now. Okay, there we go. I've got him in my sights. Okay, I really need to shoot him now. There we go. Just launches a massive rocket at him and I believe that we get a really cool effect there. And I believe that the rockets are actually homing, so you don't have to be 100% accurate with what you're doing, which is brilliant for me, uh, because, of course, this was before a lot of the uh, sort of controls for weapon usage and stuff were truly perfected, so that helps us all, really. And, okay, is, is something wrong here? I seem to remember that there's supposed to be a tank here. I swear there's supposed to be a big old tank here, like... Just in this area where I am now. Not where the boxes are, but on that grassy patch that I was just on. And it doesn't seem to be spawning one. Unless I'm just crazy and it's like it hasn't spawned the tank yet. Because I know that there's tanks in this level and you do actually need to destroy them with something that we'll get for helping Skid's agent in order to get a skill point. But we'll get to that soon enough. And Okay, you know what? I do want to kind of save my Devastator ammo. Because even though the Devastator is a brilliant weapon, the ammo is kind of costly. So I want to hold off on that for a bit. And I believe there's a gold bolt around here not too far away. But first we have a little... Whoa, whoa. Okay, that bomb can't touch me. Dun, 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 dun. Can't touch this. I can't sing. I'm sorry. I can't rap. I'm not good at it. Uh, let's see. Where's the other guy? There he is. Okay, you stay there. There we go. It's okay. They're not too tough. You, you can get used to the attack patterns pretty easily. Or not attack patterns. Dodging patterns, rather. So, there we go. More boxes. And I seem to remember that the pipes around here are destructible. And they give a fair amount of bolts, I seem to remember. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's quite a bit. So, let's see. 518 to... Uh, now, you know what? Mm, how much is that? 26? Actually, no. I think that's only 16. Okay, well there you go, like I've said before, they were very uh, Scrooge-like, if that's even a word actually, well, I don't think it's a word, but you know what I mean, yeah, they're very stingy, rather, with the bolts in these uh, earlier games, uh, this was before they were just dishing out bolts like they were community wafers at church or something, or like free flyers through a letterbox, no, this is where you actually had to work for, um, you actually had to work for bolts, in which case, good luck getting that uh, Rhino. Although I am hoping to get my hands on it if I can. And there's the tank. Okay, now it's going to just come riding down. It's going to come riding down. And I seem to remember that, yeah, once you take down the top of the tank, then it's just the body which can't attack you in any way. But I think it can run over you, I think. And I'm not sure if you saw that. There was a little enemy that flew out of this uh, gate. I can't remember if that enemy is special, but it's very hard to kill. I'm not sure if it gives you, like, a, a million bolts or something. Well, of course it doesn't give you that much. Like I said, they're stingy. But I'm not sure if it gives you, like, a load of bolts if you kill it. Because it is hard to kill, so you'd think it would give you some kind of reward. Unless it's for a skill point that I've forgotten about, but I don't think so. But, eh, it doesn't matter. Either way, gold bolt right there, I thought so. And is that the only two gold bolts? I want to say that it is. I can't quite remember. More blaster ammo, exactly what I was hoping for, in which case best to equip that again. And yeah, uh, the tanks in this level are actually pretty deadly from what I remember. Like, they're not too much trouble if you've got the right weapons to deal with them, but they can, like, they can chip away at your health ver very easily. And I stumbled on my pronunciation again. They can chip away at your health very easily because they just fire so rapidly and it's just very brutal. Uh, let's see. And speaking of rapid fire, we got these guys who actually can't aim. Once they've picked out a specific spot to shoot at, they just shoot at it like... <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, they shoot at it like throat clearing. No. <clears throat> Ugh. Yeah, it has definitely been at least a week since I last commentated over something because talking so heavily is actually hurting my throat right now. Although, to be fair... 
Uh, maybe that's because of what actually happened on holiday, because another little story, my family and I actually got uh, very sick due to... We think it was food poisoning, but we're not completely sure, in which case... Best not mention the name of the hotel that I was at, because that might give them a bad image, because we don't know if it was the hotel's fault. For all we know, we just contracted some kind of invisible bacteria that's only transmittable to English people or something. We don't know. Uh-oh, don't blow me up. Okay, okay it's, it's all right. The bomb did not blow me up. Okay, that one did. Okay, well, there you go. And you know what? I don't like these guys. Let's take care of them easily. Where are you? Where are you at? And I believe that they can only hide in these particular bushes with these little antennas sticking out of them. Or antennae, rather, depending on how you feel about... Oh, what? Thanks for that. He threw a bomb at me and I couldn't see it because... Ratchet was in the way of his animation. Well, that makes me feel good about myself. What the hell? What was that? Oh, there it is. Well, don't kill me. There we go. That showed him. Yeah, and once again, commentating's hurting my throat slightly. Yeah, I'm going to have to try to get back into that because it... Yeah, like I said, it's been at least a week since I last uh, recorded a Let's Play episode, in which case... Actually, I can actually feel my uh, voice kind of... Uh, getting a bit weird now as I'm talking, so probably best not to talk for a little bit more of the episode and That's just a weird design choice. You'd think they would put something in this room, but there's nothing there apparently But anyway, I don't think I'll actually need to talk because from what I remember we have a little cutscene coming up here Hey, it's the commando. How you doing? I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry hmm. no, never mind Oh, don't knock nuclear weapons, they're awesome. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. So, Clank's got an idea. Told you he wasn't dumb. Far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. Clank's a smart guy. I, I like him. This communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. And I believe that's the last we ever see of the commando, which is saddening. I hope this message finds you well. It does not, As because you're in it, you douche. Our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home. Yeah, I bet they will. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Thanks for that. Now do you understand why we must stop? I was hoping we were done with that guy for a bit. No, nope, he's back on the scene. In the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes. By using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine. Let's get going then. We'll come back later. So, sure enough, we can't progress here because we're going to need some Gadgetron Magna Boots, which we cannot find on this planet. However, there is something out and about. Well, something. Now, there is one planet out and about that we might be able to find them on. And, whoa, I nearly fell off this thing. Now, I, I want to take this as a shortcut back to my ship. It wouldn't trigger the option. So anyway, that's all we can do on, what's this planet called? Battalia, I think is the name. In which case, fitting name, it just so happens that there's a war breaking out on it. That's funny. But, okay, there we go. I think that's just about everything that we need to do here. We got a brand new weapon, a couple of gold bolts, a skill point, and we found an info bot to a new planet. In which case, I reckon that next time on Ratchet & Clank, we'll be going to check out that new planet to see if we can find ourselves a pair of Magna Boots. Although, actually, there's two new planets we can visit, in which case, that's where we'll get the pilot's helmet. Or at least we'll try to. And that's where we can try to find Magna Boots and stuff. Uh, now, you know what? I'll just stick to what I know. I'll go to Gaspar first, because that's how I usually do it when I'm playing myself. So, anyway, yeah, I think that should just about do it. So, thanks for watching, and next time on Ratchet & Clank, we'll be going to Planet Gaspar to try to find a pilot's helmet. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.